AITA for revealing that my husband and I got a paternity test to his family, causing turmoil? I-26F just gave birth to my son two months ago. My husband Devin, 34M, and I have a prenup that dictates that I am to receive a gift upon the birth of a child that is biologically ours, called a bump gift. It may seem a bit silly, but a lot of his work friends also have this clause because she does all the hard work building the baby. A whole nine, almost ten months, that is worthy of a gift. To keep the legitimacy of the clause, it requires a paternity test before it takes effect. My husband works in stock trading and makes very good money so I can afford to stay at home, though I do work remotely as a marketing and data analyst. Because of the prenup, as soon as our son was born Devin and I went for a paternity test, it was positive as I never cheated and never would. Devin bought me two-year subscriptions for my favorite book subscription boxes, one is YA and the other adult fantasy. I usually only get three-month subscriptions because of the cost, but was so happy he chose this gift. Though both of us agree the test was purely a formality as we trust each other. A few nights ago, we were at my in-law's house for dinner. Devin's dad also works in stock trading, and they talk about work over dinner, whereas his mom and I are both avid readers, so we talk about recent books. His sister Erica, 30F, and her husband, 36M, were there, even though it is usually just Devin, my FIL, my MIL, and I, and they just had a baby three months ago, though Erica has a history of infidelity and her husband has struggled with accepting paternity. I mentioned how cute her daughter was and told her how glad I was that we all had babies so close in age. Her husband snapped and mentioned that he should get a paternity test, because he was sure the baby was Erica's but unsure if the baby was his. Erica said that nobody in their right mind would do a paternity test and asked me if I agreed. I said that Devin and I did a paternity test two days after our son was born, and that I wasn't bothered because I knew that our son was his. She freaked out on me for acting like it wasn't a big deal and made dinner really awkward. I feel like a total asshole because I know we got paternity tests for vastly different reasons, but I also feel like she asked me the question and I answered honestly. Ida? I have a prenup that dictates that I am to receive a gift upon the birth of a child that is biologically ours, called a bump gift. It may seem a bit silly, but a lot of his work friends also have this clause because she does all the hard work building the baby. A whole nine, almost ten months, that is worthy of a gift. To keep the legitimacy of the clause, it requires a paternity test before it takes effect. Small. A paternity test for a couple of box sets? Come on. You're not even trying with your anti-women propaganda. Run it through an AI story generator to get a more believable premise. Or watch literally any shitty soap opera, right? If I'm signing a prenup demanding I give birth and submit to mandatory paternity testing by my well-to-do husband, I better be getting a house or car or a big nice contribution to my retirement fund. Not some rinky-dink book of the month subscription that A, I'm already paying for myself, and B, People with perfectly average salaries gift to each other all the time without having to give birth or sign a prenup. This is fucking stupid. Look, just prove the baby is mine and I'll buy you the full Mortal Instruments box set. Okay? My ex was a Wall Street finance guy. He spent an average of 100k slash year on buying me just because gifts. In our circle wives got gifts and jewelry, luxury cars, etc. And we didn't have to sign anything or push out a baby. A book subscription worth just a few grand would have been simply rolled under fixed costs like mortgage slash car payments. Fun money for wife just because. Come on, you're not even trying with your anti-women propaganda. Run it through an AI story generator to get a more believable premise. Or watch literally any shitty soap opera. Opie in the comments saying that it sounds weird because they're both on the spectrum. I miss when the trolls were halfway decent lol. He makes good money so I got two book box subscriptions. Maybe that's $1,000? If I'm on a prenup, I want my push present to be at least 10K. She gets a Y book box. That's totally not an idea a 14-year-old would think someone wants as a baby present. To be fair, lots of adult women like Y books. But if you're both high earners, this is more like a birthday present. No reasonable person would submit to a mandatory paternity test for a few hundred dollars worth of books. WTF. Right. A legal agreement to take a paternity test to receive an unspecified gift that turns out to be books? Try giving me $100,000 and maybe we'll talk. This feels a bit like bait. Like they really take about this in front of folks? All around what an awkward conversation. What? 
You never signed a prenup legally requiring that you get a post-pregnancy gift so long as your baby passes a DNA test. But they said their friends did it too. So that makes it totally normal. In what in cell fever dream does this world exist? But this is the culture of wealthy Wall Street investors. Slash S. I can think of one reason why this could be legit. The husband and his friends made up this bump gift BS to trick their wives into getting a paternity test without losing their shite. There's an entire reality TV show about wealthy moms in Australia, and half the show is the women daydreaming about their push presents and then receiving their push presents at lavish parties. But they get like Land Rovers. I think Ops sold herself short. All that for a jelly of the month club subscription. Yep, it tracks with the incel playbook. Good wife build baby. Good wife get gift. Also, the husband usually has no reason to even think his wife is cheating in posts that involve DNA tests. You mean the insults posts normalize random DNA tests without cause? Yup. There was a post where a guy with no reason to believe his wife cheated on him wanted to get a DNA test behind his wife's back and wanted to hide it from her if it came back that he was the father. He was going to hide it cause some incel told him he would hide it. A married man. Taking advice from someone who will never even go on a date. Jesus Christ what has this world come to? I didn't even think of how that is kind of weird. I was stuck in it being in a legally binding contract. Would she have taken him to court over it? Why do you need to write down when your spouse gets a gift like some milestone? I feel like I'm just too poor to understand this or something. And it sounds like she doesn't even get to pick this gift? I love my husband and he's a very smart man. But he's bought me diapers from Costco for my birthday. I guess we're not supposed to notice that this stupid gift is just a barely veiled bribe to get a paternity test. And none of these wives noticed either? In cell world is so weird. But this gift was a two-year subscription to something she was having to renew every three months. Imagine the joy of not having to get auto-renewal emails four times a year. That seems like adequate payment for someone growing another person in their body for nine months. This sounds super fake. There's a certain group of people who have an agenda to normalize routine paternity testing. It's gotta be bait. The concept of writing a bump gift into a prenup is just too outlandish for me to believe. Or maybe I just need to reevaluate my views on humanity. I am to receive a gift upon the birth of a child that is biologically ours, called a bump gift. It may seem a bit silly, but a lot of his work friends also have this clause. There is no world in which a lot of people do this. Or they are a rich, detached from reality segment of the population and asking advice from the average person isn't going to do any good. Also, the way they write this, including biological child, is not a statement most people would write. Absolutely fake. Who TF gets a paternity test to get the gift of a fucking book subscription that she already buys herself? I was expecting the gift to be a lake house in her name. Why on earth would a book subscription be the gift you buy for your wife as a push present when you are supposedly a wealthy stock trader? A book of the month subscription for a year is $200. These people make up these stories and have no frame of reference how much money wealthy people actually have. Like all of these stories of my salary is $250,000. And then they fail to realize that that is $20,000 a month. Do you think a person who makes an entire car's worth of money every single month would consider a $400 gift to their wife to be contract worthy? My personal favorite was the I make $500,000 and my fiancé makes $50,000 as a teacher, but I want her to pay me rent, $2,000 a month? Is this fair? Like, do you really expect me to believe that someone who brings home 30 k a month after taxes and retirement is worried about squeezing $2,000 a month from their fiancé? Who the fuck gets a prenup that specifically includes a, not especially expensive, push present with bonus paternity test? That was my big issue with this, especially given that this push present Presumably save the household money because a two-year subscription would be cheaper than buying all of those three-month subscriptions. Is it possible that someone has a push present in their prenup? Sure, though it seems like a strange thing to put in. Maybe something like on birth of each kid, you get a lump sum of cash. But you get a box of books delivered monthly? That's just odd. This post is fake and odd. It's trying to show that cool ladies are fine with their husbands suggesting they cheated. Fake op is not like otergels. And she gets a transactional prize for being so cool. Book subscription. What a gift. Ella Mayo. If this is real it'd be a car or some shit. 
says they're well off, but this prenup gift is badically a box set. Jeez. I don't know why everyone thinks this is fake. I had my wife do a criminal background check, urine test, citizenship test, and a Mensa test in addition to a paternity test before I gifted her two, two, non-consecutive, $5 Taco Bell Taco Tuesday boxes, and one, one, IKEA catalog for bringing two beautiful twins into the world. It's standard boilerplate prenup agreement terms. If you were a high-power executive like me, you'd know. We called it a push present instead of a bump gift. Don't have a prenup and the gift wasn't tied to her producing me a child, which seems a little strange in itself. Makes the marriage feel a little too transactional to me. Some 15-year-old boy Red Pillar is engaging in a creative writing experiment. Seriously. The only person who is against a paternity test is someone who is a known cheater. Yeah, sure, that's how it works, slash S. NTA, she's being defensive, possibly because she doesn't know if he's the father either. She's being defensive because this whole story is fake ill. Go read OP's replies. The gift keeps shifting slightly and the extra details are just ridiculous. This is just tradwife fanfic. I'm quite familiar with push presents and have received them myself, but this is beyond bizarre. All of you are very weird. I don't think this is real, and I'm truly wondering if you can legally enforce a present and paternity test clause in a prenup. Y'all are just abusing the prenup system ADP. WEF. These people sound like aliens. I have a prenup that dictates that I am to receive a gift upon the birth of a child that is biologically ours, called a bump gift. It may seem a bit silly, but a lot of his work friends also have this clause because she does all the hard work building the baby. A whole nine, almost ten months, that is worthy of a gift. So if everyone already understands all this, why is a legal document necessary? Plus that clause has nothing to do with prenups. What else did they cram in there? If husband and wife begin a television show together, individual spouse may not watch more episodes without other spouse present.